Thank you so much, Michael. I'm now joined by nutritionist Carol Jensen. Carol, as usual, this looks gorgeous. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about it? Thank you. Isn't this cabbage amazing? Whoa. Yes. It's bigger than a bowling ball. It is actually 13 pounds. Oh. I picked that up at a uh, farmer's market from Swore Farms. <laughs> that is crazy. I, Michael works out a lot and I was telling him he could do squats with this. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I have here today are some probiotic foods. We've got uh, dilly beans and garden salsa. We've got some zucchini dill relish, Ooh. Um, gingered carrots, and some pickled garlic. Ooh, wow. So these are probiotic foods, right? Yes, um, yeah. meaning they have live active cultures in them. Ah. So actually more beneficial than taking that po probiotic capsule or supplement okay. because within them, um, are, it's a kind of a package deal. It's all the nutrients, the fiber, even the lactic acid that our bodies need to grow our own microbiome. So instead of the um, probiotics just passing through the body, it actually builds up our own gut health. Oh, very interesting. And so if you, you know, wanted to make your own, like it looks like you have here, how would you go about doing that? Oh, it is so easy, so much easier than canning, uh, almost any other food preservation method, the basic ingredient is salt. And that's what creates the environment for the good microbes to thrive and the pathogenic ones to die. Got it. Um, so if I have a soft vegetable like a, a tomato, um, even a zucchini has a lot of liquid in it, and I add salt to it, it's going to draw out those liquids and create its own brine. Mm. And the vegetable just has to be covered in that brine so that it's not exposed to oxygen. Um, with a vegetable that's firmer, like this cabbage, mm -hmm. um, or even carrots, they have a lot of water in them, but um, we would want to maybe pound that a bit okay. to release that. So chop the vegetables and gotcha. I just take my meat mallet and uh, beat on it a little bit till those fluids come out. Um, now with something you don't want to beat, <laughs> like your beans or even asparagus, mm -hmm. you can just fill your jar and then pour a salt water solution over it. Ah, very easy. Um, a ratio of about a half a tablespoon of salt to two-thirds cup water and mm -hmm. and then you let it sit there are plenty of recipes out there on the internet on how to do this exactly you just look up uh, lacto fermentation or traditional fermentation gotcha thank goodness for the internet right <laughs> is there anything else you think people should know about probiotic foods well they're probably wondering why it's so important because there's all this buzz yes uh, on probiotics today um, one of the, the things that I would say my top five reasons, um, first, it boosts immune health. 80% of our immune system is in the gut, and so it helps us fight that infection. Second, I would say that um, uh, it strengthens the gut. It helps it. reduce those symptoms like bloat and uh, indigestion, IBS. I, unfortunately, we probably only have time for the top two, but you know what? When I post this online, we can post the full top five, so you'll have to Excellent. click on the link to get there. Thank you so much okay. for coming on, Carol. Thank you for having me. Of course. Coming up on KPVI News Today, we'll take a look at your KPVI News Today headlines.